for me, I can't wait for 2016 to end and 2017 to begin because I believe the Youth Charter will have fully come of age and then be able to realise its potential. And in the Muhammad Ali, um, I think, semblance of all that he achieved, where his red bike moment was when he had his bike stolen as a 30, 12 or 13 year old. He was that angry, he said he was gonna whoop the person who stole it. If that red bike moment hadn't have happened, that local policeman that he spoke to, who took him to a local boxing club, would have suggested without a negative, could there have been such a massive positive. So we're still working on that basis. We will turn every challenge into an opportunity. Our young people have never more needed what we have to offer, what we can do to provide, and what we can assist in what must fundamentally happen. The only way this all happens and works is if people work collaboratively and collectively. If they want to compete and, and actually attempt their own individual approaches, uh, individual approaches, I'm sorry. If we look back at London 2012, if we'd have taken that approach, those games would not have been the unparalleled and unprecedented success it was. Team GB did it in 2012. Team GB did it in 2016. All I'm asking is the same effort that went into delivering that medal-winning success is the same effort we put into engaging, equipping and empowering our communities. Most of those lottery tickets come from the communities that would least have the opportunity to feast on a physical activity participation opportunity.